Welcome back, everyone. A shock new report has revealed Australians have less time for sleeping and eating because they're working so much. According to a study by the ANU, people are working so many hours, there's barely any time left for basic necessities. So let's get today's take on this with Nine's Chris Urquhart and Shelley Horton from Shell Shocked Media. Mm. Urk, to you first, most people working more than 30, 40 hours. Um, our health suffers after 39, apparently, that's, just, uh, that's what they're saying. Uh, I mean, do we need to start looking at as a nation at work-life balance, as opposed to just us talking about it in the media. It'd be nice if we could. Nice if we could start the day with a swim at the beach and go to yoga class and then uh, work for a couple of hours and then have a coffee and then take all the time off. But have you seen house prices at the moment? Uh -huh. You know, if you can get the same money for working 25 hours a week, good on you. But I think most of us are finding it, you know, 40, 41, 42, 50 hours a week just to make ends meet. It's the way it is. It'd be lovely. Sign me up for the deal if I can <laughs> yeah, get it. Yeah. But, um, but good luck finding it. I think not part that realistic. of the problem is the work-life balance term. I mean, I think it's a myth. I think work hard when you can and have time off when you can. So maybe instead of saying your work-life balance have, has to happen over a week, maybe it's over a year and you work really hard, do massive hours, but then you have a really good holiday or something. Mm. Maybe, or you buy the house that you've always <laughs> wanted. You know, something like that. I think saying that you need exact work-life balance puts a lot of pressure on people and I think that can actually cause extra stress. Mm. Okay. Guilt adds to the anxiety. Impact. Anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Some people like working as well. Some people love what they do and all love give it to their own business or whatever, and they're happy to throw it in. But sure. we're all yeah. different. All right, let's move on now. Skimpy outfits are out for Grid Girls at the Formula One Grand Prix this year. They'll now be wearing a modest uniform for the first time in history. So, Shelley, the ladies are wearing uh, classy outfits. That's a quote, mm. uh, which includes shorts. So, what do you think about the new look? The fact that they're called Grid Girls is enough for me to want to vomit on the spot. I mean, the whole concept of them is sexist. What do they do? They yeah, just stand they there and look pretty. And that in itself is an issue for me. And I'm not being PC and people will just go, oh, it's, you know, you're <laughs> um, just trying to make everything, you know, back to where it was. I actually want to say that we don't need this. We don't need it at all. You know what? We don't have grid boys. So that, why, why don't have we have grid boys? You know they have tried grid boys mm. overseas. There's other there's other Grand Prix, there's other, other motorsport events where they've gotten rid of them, yeah. only to bring them back. They tried it in Adelaide at the Clipsall 500 to get rid of it. Um, attendances and things were down, so it's it's a it's it's, it's a can, tough one. Wait a but, 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 but 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 like they're sort of like an airline uniform from sort of I 1974. Say, I don't mind them. I don't mind them. And I, I think if you The uniform or the grid girls? The, the uniform. Okay. The, the viewers are sort of... A lot of them are writing through to us saying that they think they look a lot classier. Yep. And, and I have to agree. I think that they do. They look quite... Well, it's better than so walking around So you want classy objectification of women? Yeah, but wh where is... <laughs> OK. <laughs> Okay. Got you there. Next topic. I'm not going to say <laughs> <laughs> Things like Miss like Universe popcorn. is an objectification <laughs> yeah. of women. So where do, where do you stop? I, I think mean, we stop right here. I Let's think, just I think women, here. women can be celebrated for looking beautiful. They're beautiful young girls. You know, I mean, look, can we? They, they look be nice and they're in a skirt. Yeah, but if it's because it's a skirt short. Yes. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, look at that. that looks quite nice. Yeah, if they're think. modelling the clothes and you can go and buy it and you can go and wear it like a model on a catwalk, mm. it's a totally different story. They're selling Rolex watches. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so in music videos, can we talk about objectification yeah, of women? No. Music videos. Yeah, wow. Robert Palmer. You, you're in the music you. business. Yeah. It's all your fault. Yeah, I made so many <laughs> music videos. I did have something happen to me, though, just yesterday, and it was a, and a nice thing, and I wanted to share it. I'm loading the kids into the car, so I took them to the pool, um, and I, I did that male thing, and you say your partner does this too. Mm where I put the stuff on the roof of the car... The wallet. And, the, and, and the I put coffee, my wallet yeah. there and I drove off. And uh, I didn't know. And so then last night the police came to my door and a good Samaritan had handed my wallet into the police. So firstly, whoever you are, thank you. No. But what, um, what, what was your first thought when the police came to your door? Oh, what Panic. now? Did what you now? Get, did you break out into a cold sweat? I was sweat? like, no, no, Dave doesn't live here. Um, <laughs> about ten times before they finally let him in. I was like, this part of the No, 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 I was like, because I knew, because I went to the shops before and I couldn't find it. And when, the, yeah. when I saw the policeman, I was like, you've got my wallet, haven't you? But Chris, it's what I wanted, why I wanted to share this is because Somebody did a really good thing. They yeah. saw a wallet and they went, yeah. oh, this is some um, randos and I'm going to take it to the cop station and hand it in. It's nice. It reminds me of the lady at the Melbourne Cup. Do you remember last year that found the wallet on yeah. the video yeah. and was just desperately trying lady. to get yeah. it? Yeah. It might have been her, David. She still finally found the right police. She crash tackled the police. Yeah, she did. <laughs> and there's someone on air. It was yeah. fantastic. I had a similar thing happen to me um, late last year. 
I was in the back of the cab, but I took my cocktail ring off to put some hand cream on, because I'm a girl, and I left the cocktail ring in the back of the cab. It wasn't expensive, that's it there, but it was the first thing my husband ever gave me. The cab driver drove back and found me and returned it. Aww. And I was in tears and I was so, gr I gave him a big tip, but I was so Should grateful and I put, it, I put him up <laughs> on social media. And it was that great thing where people said, we don't celebrate good people very often. Yeah. It's actually really nice to go, cab drivers get a really hard time. Here's a really good example of great a person story. just being a decent human being. So you know what, if you've got a really positive story to share for us on social media for a change, head on to Facebook and Twitter. We want to hear from you. And I also, by the way, uh, I lost my virginity. So if anyone's <laughs> got that somewhere. Yeah. And I'm looking, I'm still looking for my dignity. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, Shelly, good to see you. We love it. Still to come, forget Vegemite on toast cooking.